Good morning, I'm Dr. P. God. This morning I want to show you a testimonial, uh, kind of a special test on, testimony, because this is on a, a fellow uh, doctor of our friend of ours that we did surgery on. He, when he came to see us a few years ago, had a pretty severe arthritic joint here, and he had had different uh, types of modalities described to him to, to correct this. And he came to see us to do this mentally invasive. He researched this out. And what we did, we made a tiny incision on the side of his foot here, and took the arthritic spur and the bunyol. Also did an osteotomy in a, in a V shape this way. We kept the plantar cortex intact. And also we did an opening osteotomy with a hallux. And this procedure described in um, Mariano de Prado's book, Mentally Invasive Foot Surgery, and also was taught to him by Dr. Stephen Eichen. So this is something we do at the Academy of Amatory Foot and Ankle Surgery. You can see he's got good motion here two or three years later. He's very active. Uh, plays uh, sports and, and exercise and works out. So this was really kind of getting him down. So he has a little bit of an issue today. We're going to just correct a little toe he, uh, issue he's got. That's, that's simple. Uh, but I wanted to show you him and have him talk to you. And, uh, and we'll just turn over to him and Jim, you kind of describe what, who you are and what, what you did. Hey, I'm Dr. Jim Coleman. I'm retired from neurosciences. And um, as Dr. Peacock said, I had this problem with my, I thought it was just a bunion and it was more of an arthritic joint as Dr. Peacock describes. And I had all kinds of people look at it, uh, orthopedic surgeons, a couple of other uh, podiatric surgeons, and I was dreading the, the procedure because everybody says you're going to be wearing a boot and it's going to be, it's really painful. Dr. Peacock did it and, and I, I was absolutely amazed. I mean, I had minimal pain for two days. I think I took a total of four pain pills and, and just no pain, more uh, a shoe, a corrective shoe around for a couple of weeks, maybe three or four weeks. And, and it just corrected itself and uh, I'm just pleased as I can be with it. It's just been wonderful. And uh, I've, I've talked it up uh, amongst several of my other physician friends, and uh, I think several of them are interested in it for, for themselves and their wives who have bunions. And now, uh, Jim, while we were telling you about it, you know, with a mentally invasive surgery, very accepted, you know, amongst uh, physicians in Europe. And here in the United States, it seems to not really be taken off as big as you would think it would. It's starting to. And I know you've uh, talked to some of your colleagues at the University of Tennessee, and uh, basically, um, we're, we're very appreciative that you've done that. We're trying to get the word out, so your, your testimony is important with you being a physician, and he's a pretty well-known neuroscience physician from, from UT. And we just want to show you his foot. He's not, are you able to do your normal, your working out? Oh, so yeah. No problem. So, no problem with that. So, so really, uh, there, are, there are some applications where mentally invasive surgery is very appropriate and, and even uh, even more desirable and than, than doing a traditional surgery. I mean, think about your own foot. Do you want your foot fused or do you want plates and, and implants and putting your foot when it can be done a lot less invasive? We did gym surgery here in the office under local anesthetic. Didn't go to the hospitals. There was no issue with how to be put to sleep and the risk involved in that. So we just appreciate you as a patient, appreciate your testimony because it's a very important thing. Absolutely.